Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, yesterday started off on a chilly note. It turned out to be a very pleasant afternoon with some light winds. We had a few thin clouds that filtered out some sunshine from time to time. Now, this morning started off a little milder than we did yesterday morning, but we've still had the good bit of sunshine and we have more of a gentle breeze out of the south this time around. And all of these factors put together have made for a very pleasant stretch. And we're not done yet. We still have some very mild days to go before a very brief cool down heads our way to wrap up the work week and then ultimately another warm up heading our way to kick off next week. Here's a look at some of the lows from this morning as most places started off in the 20s. Couple spots stayed in the 30s. Meanwhile, our lower elevations, which as we know, are typically cooler in the mornings. They fell to the mid teens for the most part, bottoming out at 27 degrees in Eau Claire. Now, really going into the start of next week, not really expecting any sort of precipitation as we have a mainly dry pattern that's heading our way with a partly to mostly sunny sky, much like we're seeing today. We're having more abundant sunshine and things are very mild right now, and that'll be the case through about Thursday. And again, Friday does very briefly cool off. It'll feel more like late February as opposed to uh, mid spring almost with some of these temperatures. Today, for example, getting into the upper 40s and low 50s. And again, winds are primarily out of the south and out of the southwest. Anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour is what we can expect through the afternoon. Temperatures right now, though, most places in the mid to upper 40s. There are a few spots that have already managed to get into the 50s. Winona sitting at 50 degrees and Black River Falls. Remember, they were in the teens earlier this morning. Have now climbed all the way to 51 degrees with winds that are primarily out of the south. Again, most of us are between 5 to 15 miles per hour, so I'd call this more of a gentle breeze. But looking at our upper level flow, notice again with all the moisture that's being brought towards California, that's where that main storm track is sitting towards central California. But for us, it's bringing us this very mild uh, Pacific air, and that's why we're experiencing these temperatures that are very mild. Meanwhile, further towards the north, that's where that polar jet is keeping that Arctic air confined towards central and eastern Canada. All the while, enjoying some sunshine. Looking at the satellite and radar, just a few thin clouds have been moving through, but for the most part, a lot of us have been enjoying abundant sunshine, as will be the case through the afternoon. Now, there will be a couple passing clouds possible from time to time, but tonight, as we've had all of this snow melt, introducing some low-level moisture to the atmosphere, we could have a little bit of patchy fog going into tomorrow morning, but otherwise, through tomorrow afternoon, expecting more in the way of sunshine yet again, but some clouds roll in late tomorrow night into Thursday. Even a few chances at some sprinkles, mostly south of I-90 is what I'm expecting out of that. But then Thursday does bring a little bit more sunshine with a few intervals of clouds. But this time around, winds will be more out of the northwest. And that will lead to that cool down that we're expecting on Friday. Meanwhile, for today, topping out near 50 before falling to the mid-20s. Later on tonight, again, there is that potential for some patchy fog. Couple days in the 50s before slightly pulling back on the temperatures on Thursday. And again, we do cool things off to make it look a little bit more February like to wrap up the work week with highs in the low to mid 30s. Some upper 30s around the I 90 corridor expected on Friday, but warming up very quickly. And by Monday, likely back into the mid 50s. Now for a Sunshine Award, Brian Payo would like to nominate Cassandra Green and says Cassandra has been a good friend for many years. I DJ'd for a benefit to help raise money for her 10 month old son back in 2011 and we've been friends ever since. I moved to Vermont three years ago and Cassandra has been taking care of my little brother's grave among many others at no cost. She does this out of the kindness of her heart but a few months ago she contracted Guillain-Barre disease and now she is fighting to learn how to walk again. Now if you'd like to nominate someone send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Yeah, Mike, this is a kind of this is the kind of forecast that we kind of look forward to in April. Yeah, and uh, it's kind of hard to believe that it's still February. You know, I have to double check the calendar sometimes when looking at the forecast. But man, it is just beautiful out here. I think we'll have to wrap the show out here. What do you say, Jude? Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I need to twist your arm too much for that one. No, we don't. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.